All right, guys, welcome to non-traditional day number four. What we're going to be working on today is a unit rate review. Okay, with the target, I can calculate the unit rate of an item. So, quick review. What is unit rate? All right, so a unit rate is just a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units. So, for example, uh, like calories per serving. The unit rate would tell you how many calories are in one serving of something. Um, price per pound. What is the price per one pound of, um, of an item? And then miles per gallon. How many miles will it go per one gallon? So anytime we're talking about unit rate, our denominator is always one. Okay, the word unit actually means one. So when we're looking for a unit rate, we're looking for one of something. So some real world examples, if you take a look here, um, sometimes you might see this on the, gro on the products that you buy in the grocery store, it might say 33.5 cents per ounce. What that means is that you're paying 33.5 cents per one ounce of Cheerios. As you can see, the whole price is 5.69, but over here they're telling you what you're paying per one ounce. Um, <clears throat> talking about highway mileage, we're getting miles per gallon. Okay, that says you're getting 30 miles per one gallon of gas. Calories per serving, okay? So it says you're getting 220 calories per one serving of this food, so per one cup, okay? All right, so to find the unit rate is very simple, okay? The first thing that you have to do is to write the rate in words. Um, and that's gonna help you set up your division problem. That's gonna help you make sure that everything's in the right order. After you write the right in words, that's when you're going to go find your division problem. You're going to go back into the words and you're going to pick out um, what, what is your dividend, what is your divisor. And then lastly, it's really simple, just solve it out. Now, today, um, since we're not assessing the division target, you're more than welcome to use a calculator to help you with your division. Okay, um, I'll show you exactly what you need to have on your paper to show work, but you can use a calculator to do the division. All right, so let's do some examples. Before you start on your actual NTI work, here's just some examples, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I want from you for your work, okay? These are not on the homework, or these are not on the NTI work. They're just some examples to show you what I expect from you when you go do your NTI work, okay? So for example, it says, on a field trip, there are 60 students on four buses. What is the unit rate of students per bus? So what we're looking for now these three things. This is what I want to see on your paper. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is to write the rate in words. So in this particular problem, we're looking for the rate of students per bus. So to write my rate in words, I write students per bus. Okay. Now for our division problem, we're going to go back up into the words and um, pick out what we have here. Okay. Students, there are 60 and we've talked about the word per tells us to divide on four buses. So our division problem is gonna say our 60 students per means to divide and there are four buses. So 60 divided by four, okay? Then, like I said, we can just do our calculator to solve. So 60 divided by four tells us that there are 15 students per bus. Now, the students per bus part is very important, okay? When we're talking about a real world problem like what we have here, Okay, our answer has to be in context of that real world problem. So we can't just say 15. Well, 15 what? In this example, it's 15 students per one bus. Okay, all right, let's try another one. Again, not on your work, just a example to, to practice before you set off on your own. Okay, so it says in the gymnasium, there are 200 chairs in 50 rows. What is the unit rate of chair per row? Okay, so first things first, We've got to write our rate in words. And if we go into our question here, it says what is the unit rate of chairs per row? Okay, so we, we're gonna rewrite that. We are looking for how many individual chairs per one row, okay? So I'm looking for chairs first, and we see that there are 200 chairs. Per tells us to divide, so that's where our division symbol is gonna go. And then there are 50 rows. So our division problem says 200 divided by 50. Like I said, we can just use our calculator to solve it out. And that tells us that there are four chairs per 
one row, okay? Four chairs per row. Number three, let's try another one, okay? It says, on your way to the beach, you calculate that you have driven 480 miles in eight hours. What is the unit rate of miles per hour that you are traveling? Three things, we need our rate in words. In our problem here, it, we find the rate and it says miles per hour, so those are our rates in words. Miles first per hours. So if we go back up into the words, we're tra traveling 480 miles. The word per tells us to divide, and we're gonna divide it by eight hours. So our division problem says, 480 miles divided by the eight hours that we're in the car. When we plug that into our calculator, that tells us that we're traveling 60 miles per hour. 60 miles every one hour. Okay, uh, let's take a look at one more. On your bag of Cheetos, you read that there are 600 calories for eight servings. What's the unit rate of calories per serving? Now, our rate in words on this one, it tells us that we're looking for calories per serving. So we want our calories to come first per however many servings that we're getting. So if you go back up into the problem, there are 600 calories per, tells us to, to divide, eight servings. So our division problem says the 600 calories divided by eight servings. When we, um, Plug this into our calculator, we can find that there are 75 calories per one serving of Cheetos, okay? So, I've showed you guys exactly what I need from you on your work today. I just want you to practice reading the real world scenarios, picking out the right in words, writing your division problem, and then solving and answering in the context of a real world problem. So, directions for today. Go to Google Classroom and complete the NTI Day 4 Unit Rate Review. Um, you need to show all of your work for every single question on a separate sheet of paper. And your work needs to look something like this, where you have the rate in words, your division problem, and your final answer. Okay. Um, and then submit your answers online on Google Classroom, and then bring your work with you to school tomorrow. Okay. Every time we have an NTI day, a lot of you guys are like, I left it at home. Don't leave it at home. Bring it with you tomorrow. Okay. I hope you guys have an awesome NTI day number four, email me if you have any questions.